Well, as we're all seeing over the last few weeks, COVID-19 has had an impact on every aspect of our lives from where we eat and where we can order to uh, parents who are at home with their kids dealing with schoolwork. Um, lots of you are homeschooling right now and revisiting those math problems. But Alanis Morissette recently did an interview and she said that she's unschooling her children. She has three children. She said that she doesn't want to follow a guide and she's letting them take the lead. So uh, how's the curriculum going out there, moms and dads? Oh, I mean, listen, I really appreciate what teachers have undergone in order to get online courses up and running. But I have to say the worst parts of our day are the ones where we're trying to have some kind of formal learning. And here's the thing. We are going through our days and there's actually been a lot of joy and pleasure in them. We get outside. We, we look at, you know, the, the world in a different way. We, we go on adventures. We make creative, uh, like, things in the house. I've been doing, like, uh, scavenger hunts, like, all kinds of things that I feel like are really engaging uh, my son in, a, in different ways. But when it comes down to sitting down and trying to learn in a formal way, there's a lot of resistance. And so I'm trying to balance it all, all out. And I, of course, I don't want him to feel like the, the world is not structured and he never has to go back to learning in that way. But he's six and a half. He's in grade one. And my feeling is, is that there's many different ways to learn. And I'm kind of with Alanis on this. I'm kind of unschooling him a little bit. I will say as the person who does have a teaching degree, I'm not saying this just because I have one, but I think we do at this moment more than ever understand how tough of a job it is for teachers. Because guess what? Their whole thing is to educate and engage at the same time. And I know for parents who are struggling, uh, you know, listen, I have a teaching degree and I'm still working hard to have creative lessons and keep Marquez engaged because luckily she is a kid that does like learning, but that's the teacher's job that we have probably underestimated uh, through this whole situation, which is they have to try to capture the attention of about 25, that. 28, 30 kids, and they have to also keep it fun and exciting. And I know that because I was in that situation when I was teaching grade seven and eight, and that is the, the magic sauce that really great teachers have. And I will say, I think that's why the expectation for a lot of parents, I feel I feel for a lot of parents because I think they're feeling crushed under the expectation of how can I even compete with, you know, teaching degrees, et cetera, even if it is guided distance learning being given by, like in our case, the province of Ontario, um, that's a lot of expectations. I, I don't know how parents with literally zero experience in this are diving in and feeling like they're doing okay. It's really, really hard. Yeah, so I ha I've been a mom for almost four years, and uh, I've been through that paranoia of screen time and what's appropriate and development stages. It's, it's whatever works right now, because if I try to juggle my responsibilities outside of parenting along with my four-year-old as a single mom, I found that the last couple of weeks I've been short with him, I've been stressed out, and really what matters more, more than ever is just focusing on that kid. Let them be creative, and maybe we'll learn something from them. I don't know about if you're older, but if you're young enough and creative enough, you might learn something about your kids during this time. Uh, yeah, Reshmi, I absolutely agree. Like right now, I'm looking at this screen and paying attention to you, but I've got one eye kind of on the stairs because Dash could, could, could come down any second. Like I left him up there with his e-learning, and he's also come he's come down a couple of times to say it's too much and he doesn't understand. So finding that balance between homeschooling, working, everything else, it's really it's hard. Maybe unschooling's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to still vote for schooling just in my little corner over here.